Om Tat Sat, my humble prostrations to the all-pervading Brahman or God, to my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotir Mainandaji Maharaj, to Sage Narada and all other sages and saints, and to each of you, Divine Soul, watching today's satsang. We are covering Narada Bhakti Sutras. We are on chapter number three, the primary and secondary devotion, and we will be studying Sutra number 66 today. This will be in two parts, which we will be covering today and tomorrow. Commentary is by my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotir Mahananda Ji, and narrated by myself, Swami Nikhilananda. So let's get started. Sutra 66, chapter number three, Narada Bhakti Sutras. The Sutra is... त्रिरूप भंग पूर्वकम नित्यदास नित्यकांता भजनात्मकम प्रेम कार्यम प्रेम एव कार्यम Slightly long sutra. Let's repeat one more time. त्रिरूप भंग पूर्वकम नित्यदास नित्यकांता भजनात्मकम प्रेम कार्यम प्रेम एव कार्यम Meaning, having risen above, broken the triple form, a devotee should incessantly practice love and love alone, even like a devoted servant or devoted wife. As I said, we will cover this sutra in two parts and today we will be covering part number one. So this sutra suggests that when a devotee begins to experience the blossoming of devotional feeling, these are bhavas, sentiments, emotions that come from within us. He rises beyond the three kinds of devotion that we covered in sutras number 56 to 57 that we had covered before which are artharthi jigyasu and artha so he is basically transcending them and also the three types of uh, defined according to the gunas the three types of gunas are sattva rajas and tamas so when this occurs he then becomes incessantly devoted to god so as we are experiencing these feelings we are automatically growing in our bhakti this constant devotion to god is well as illustrated by the attitude of a servant towards his master or a devoted wife towards her husband a devoted servant finds his own happiness in the happiness of his master. Think of Lord Hanuman who did so much work for Lord Rama and always considered him uh, himself as his servant. And this is ever effacing and sacrificing in nature, being a servant and uh, having that dasya bhav. A devotee who adopts this attitude towards God is called a dasya bhava. He enjoys a special delight known as Dasya Rati. So that comes to him because the master is happy, you automatically are happy. And this is not a negative, being a slave or a, or a servant is not a negative connotation here. It's a very beautiful connotation. And uh, the consequent Sattvic Bhava is, in his heart is then converted into Mahabhava ecstasy of divine love as he goes higher and higher. A devotee may also adopt the even richer and more colorful attitude of a loving wife towards her husband or a lady towards her beloved. A devotee who adopts this attitude towards this God, this is called Madhurya Bhava, so the sentiments of divine love, enjoying a special delight known as Madhurya Rati. And again, the consequent Sattvic Bhava in his heart is converted into Mahabhava. So either through uh, Dasya Bhava or through uh, Madhurya Bhava, both of them eventually take you there. And with the understanding of these two attitudes, this Sutra may also be interpreted to imply that a devotee breaks the triple awareness of servant, service and master or that of lover, love and beloved. He transcends them all and that is the, the mystery of this bhakti. So we will be covering some of these bhavas uh, in more detail. The five basic attitudes in the bhakti yoga in tomorrow's sutra. This is Swami Nikhilananda. Om Tatsat.